As some of you may be aware, Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion comes to Pigeon Forge this August 22nd through 24th. The Jeep Invasion is always lots of fun, brings a lot of smile to a lot of people's faces. Unfortunately, we do have some sad news to bring to you for the Jeep Invasion this year. Allison Parliament, the founder of the world-famous Jeep Duck and Grays, passed away earlier this year on June 22nd, 2024. First and foremost, we want to extend our condolences to Allison's friends and family. And in this video, we want to pay tribute to Allison and this awesome movement that she started. Ducking, as it's often known, started as a simple act of kindness. Back in 2020, at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, Parliament reportedly had a verbal and physical encounter with someone that left her shook. Afterwards, she decided to spread a little happiness with a random act of kindness. She bought a little yellow rubber duck. And with that duck, she wrote nice Jeep on it and placed it on a Jeep similar to hers. The owner of this Jeep was a burly, scary looking six foot five guy asking, what are you doing? But he was smiling. He thought it was great and said it was the best thing to come up with and the world needed more things like this going on. This seemingly tiny and innocent act of placing a toy duck on Jeeps took off like wildfire. And if you know anything about Jeep enthusiasts, you likely know that they're a pretty tight knit community. Pictures and stories of ducking began to spread on social media. Parliament then went on to begin Duck Duck Jeep, an online community for people to share their stories of ducking. Jeeps have been ducked throughout the US and Canada, as well as China, Australia, India, and dozens of other countries. What Allison started was a worldwide movement. The official Ducking Jeep Facebook page, which will be linked in the description, was established in July of 2020. This movement, Allison's movement, reached its height of prominence in 2022 when the Detroit Auto Show promoted itself with the world's largest rubber duck. An inflatable rubber ducky which stood 61 feet tall and weighed over 8,000 pounds. And from there, the rest is history. Last year during the 2023 Jeep Invasion, we had the opportunity to sit down for an interview with Allison. We were not able to include this interview as part of our Jeep Invasion coverage last year, but in light of Allison's passing, we thought it right to share this with everyone today. All right, guys, so we're here with Allison Parliament. She is the founder of Duck Duck Jeep and also the first person to ever place a duck on a Jeep which started this whole international craze. So thank you for taking the time for us, Allison. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we just kind of wondered, what is it that, uh, how did this start? Like, what, what, was, the, what was the catalyst for this, this whole movement? In 2020, when the borders closed, I drove up to Ontario in my 2018 JK Sahara. And um, while I was driving across the border, I stopped to get gas. And somebody saw my plates and realized I wasn't a Canadian citizen as far as they were concerned. And decided that they needed to tell me to go back to my own country. They put their hands on me and hurt me and scared me. And then, you know, I got away and got home and felt really uncomfortable with what had happened. And I didn't want people to feel the way I do. So rather than spread more hate, we decided, why don't we do something to make somebody laugh? Um, I went and had bought a bag of ducks to torture my other half. And um, when I was walking out of the store, I saw a Jeep and I had a bunch of permanent markers in my Jeep. So I was like, hmm. I wrote on the duck and I put it on the Jeep. I said, hope you have a great day, nice Jeep. And um, in doing that, I got caught doing it because I am not stealthy in any capacity. And um, the gentleman that I ducked thought it was hysterical and told me we should put it on social media. So we did. And we hashtagged it Duck Duck Jeep. And it's gone crazy. Yeah, so I, I've noticed so before, when I knew I was going to have the opportunity to talk to you, I started looking things up and it looked like it took off right from the jump. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that, that's amazing that you to turn something that, you know, was obviously a traumatic experience for you into something that has spread um, the niceties around around the planet now, right? Because you, I, from what I understand, there's people internationally that are yeah. part of the Duck Duck Jeep movement, right? We have right? countries right now confirmed playing. That's so amazing. It's pretty cool. So as far as uh, we've noticed, and I'm sure people that watch this video noticed, that there are ducks for sale just about everywhere right but that was never your intention from the beginning right so from what i understand you know this was all kind of a non-profit initiative to give back but uh but it's turned into something completely different it has we are non-profit no profit and we um continue to be that way as we've agreed with jeep to make sure we follow their rules which is an amazing thing that they let us exist and we have so much fun with it we help educators get things for their classrooms and we get to travel and meet a lot of wonderful people and I have the help of a beautiful dealership down in um, Bartow, Florida, Thunder Chrysler Dodge Jeep. They actually just gifted me her. 
So this is the best, I think, birthday present I could ever ask for. That's amazing. And I heard about this, and so we drove by, because you all did this at the Red Roof, right? Yep. Yeah, and uh, so we drove by yesterday trying to catch it. I think we were too early, but that's an amazing thing. Also, to touch base on what you just said, um, you know, Jeep not only has, you know, partnered with you or allowed you, but uh, they also featured Duck Duck Jeep in the Rubicon release video, right? Yes, they did. Yeah, that's amazing. So what is, so if somebody gives to Duck Duck Jeep or contributes in, in, in any way, and we'll put all that information in the link of this, vi or in the description of this video, rather, um, if somebody gives, what do those initiatives go towards? We buy classroom um, pieces and parts like notebook, paper, crayons, pencils, clothing for students, things teachers may need to be able to teach, just depending on the situation with each educator. Um, we go through a verification process, make sure they are who they say they are, and then we work on getting their items that they need for their kids. So why education? Why was that something that was a focus for Duck Duck Jeep? Because in 2020, when my mom was teaching down in Alabama, Teachers were getting one wet wipe to last an entire day during COVID to clean their classrooms, and that was not okay. Not acceptable. So we decided, what can we do? And we started with COVID wipes, like wipes for the classroom with bleach and or like Lysol, things like that, to help protect my mom and other teachers at her school because my mom's a breast cancer survivor and doesn't have an immune system. So I wanted to make a difference for all educators as we could, and we've helped about 150 teachers in the last year. And before that, we've done about 700 teachers, so. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So uh, teachers all across the country too, all right? All across the country and in Canada. And if an educator wants to, needs that help, wants to get a hold of you guys, they can do it through the Facebook page? They can do it through the Facebook page or they can do it through duckduckoffroad.com. Okay, perfect. And we'll put all that in the, in the description as well. Well, Allison, it was a great pleasure. Thank you so much for taking this time to speak with us. And uh, we'll see you in yeah. Townsend tomorrow, huh? For sure. All right, perfect. Thanks Great. again. Thank you. This movement that Allison started has touched children, families, people all around the world. And not only have individuals been impacted by ducking in and of itself, but Allison has used this movement to help educators in their times of need. Again, for more information on the Duck Duck Jeep Facebook page and its initiatives, please look for the link in the description. There's also an active GoFundMe to help Allison's family with her final expenses. That link will also be found in the description. What Allison created is a movement of camaraderie, sharing, and fun. So fun, in fact, that the reason this began can sometimes get lost in all the excitement and fun. We think with Allison's passing, it's especially important today to make sure we keep the reason at the forefront of our minds. So if you'll find yourself at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion this week, or at any Jeep event moving forward, let's try not to forget the reason why this all began. So in conclusion, we'd like to extend a big thank you to Allison for her kindness and her courage, and to say that while you may no longer be with us, the mark that you've left on this world lives on. That just about does it for us. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.